Hello, everyone. Praise God. Listen, if you're just joining online today, share this broadcast. Let's get connected. I've got my coffee. I'm out and about. Hey, Vanessa, God bless you, woman of God. Amen. I'm in my car. There's some planes going overhead. But I thought I'd come online and uh, just talk about the Word of God today. I think it's a good godly reminder we need every day. We need reminders every day, don't we? Mm, we need that word afresh today. Hey, Janice, God bless you. Thank you for joining me. Robert, God bless you. I'm so glad you're online. I'm in my car. I've got my coffee. I'm out. I'm going to head down to the ocean in a few minutes, but I thought I would come by and say hello. There's cars and trucks going by, so it's going to be noisy. But hey, God's word is a fire. Hey, Glenn, God bless you. God's word is a hammer. It's a fire and it's a hammer. Now, I think we need to get some more visuals on this, don't you think? Hey, Randy, good to see you online. God's word is a fire. It is a hammer. What does that mean? Man, there's some things we got to hammer in the spirit, don't we? There's some things that need to get destroyed. It, he says in his word, his hammer is a, um, <laughs> his word is a hammer and it destroys, it pulverizes, it destroys the rock. What's in your way? What is stopping you from doing what God has called you to do. I think we need to hammer it today. Hey, Andy, God bless you. Hi, Janie, good to see you online. Amen, God's word is a hammer. I don't know, some of you may think the hammer is this. You know, they see these uh, little tiny hammers that are, um, uh, oh, you know, for um, cutting down for hammering in like uh, those finishing nails or uh, there's just a fine finishing hammer kind of a, a weak little hammer and uh, then there's other types of hammers there are the ball peen hammer five pound ball peen hammer is a, is a weapon those things are scary they're heavy and then there's a hammer which is a um, sledgehammer Big old sledgehammer. Hey, Colleen. Big old sledgehammer. Big old sledgehammer. That, that, that does some work. That does some amazing work, doesn't it? Sledgehammer. Hallelujah. Getting messages. A sledgehammer does some work. It can destroy some stuff. I remember breaking up an old back patio with a sledgehammer. Big old sledgehammer. It was quite amazing it was quite amazing uh, praise God it was just something you took one swing and you let the hammer do the work you took one swing you just lifted it up and you let it fall it took some muscle you used some leverage there and that thing would hit the cement and it would crack it up but there's other types of hammers what hammer are you thinking about I'm thinking about those jackhammers. They're propelled with power. A lot easier, kind of hard on the body, but a lot easier to break up what you need to get broken up and destroy, right? What you need to destroy. It's a good size hammer. I've seen bigger hammers. I've seen them on the end of a um, uh, caterpillar, not a caterpillar, but one of the other pieces of equipment gets even bigger. How big do you think your hammer is? God's word in your mouth is a hammer. The word of God in your mouth is a hammer. And some of you have been <laughs> thinking it's this little tiny uh, jewelry hammer. Maybe needed for some fine things. But we have a hammer. God's word. With nothing like anything on earth. 
it pulverizes the works of darkness. When you release the God a word from the word of God, <laughs> too much coffee, word of God from your mouth is a hammer. It destroys the works of darkness. I don't know what's in your way. I don't know if there's fear in your way. But when you command fear to go in the name of Jesus, under his name, using his name and authority given to you legally, because you're born again, it's been given to you. When you use the hammer of the word and in his name, things shift and things change. They change. They can't help but change. The hammer of God's word is greater than anything that's against you. Greater than anything. Now, we love people. We don't hammer people with the word of God. We, we love them. We just deal with things in the spirit that are blocking us, right? We love people. Absolutely. Hi, Colleen. Yeah. So we love people. Amen. But the word is a really, it is a hammer. And you can really nail some stuff, guys. You can destroy some works of darkness. You can destroy things that have, you know, lack, poverty, uh, illness, fear, doubt, worry, unbelief. Those are all things that you can hammer with the Word of God. You can command it to be annihilated in the name of Jesus in your life. We're going to pray at the end of this thing here, and we're going to annihilate some things. Amen? You know, we can, we, can, we can destroy it with the Word of God. And these are spiritual concepts that most Christians do not know anything about. They haven't been taught. And it's sad, but it's true. And that's why a lot of Christians are living um, less than the full life that Jesus has ordained for them to walk in. So what we, what we have to look at here is... What's stopping you? You have to think of, you have to figure out what's stopping you. Some of you don't know what's stopping you. Some of you need to stop and see, is it fear? Is it doubt? Is it worry? Is it unbelief? Is it a poverty mindset? Is it, um, um, I don't know what it is. Lack of knowledge. Amen. You can destroy, um, ignorance. And, and release, Lord, I, I need your wisdom. I need your wisdom. Give me your wisdom in a situation. But we're talking about fire and we're talking about hammers. And yeah, it's noisy. There's a lot of people down by the ocean. I'm going to go down to the ocean in a few minutes and uh, just catch my breath and enjoy the afternoon for a bit. So what's, what's stopping you? There's nothing that can stop you if you're born again. But you have to know the size of your hammer you're dealing with. When you've got the hammer of the Holy Ghost, of God's Word, in your mouth, that hammer is the hammer that destroys the works of darkness. Amen? To help people. You can use that hammer to help out people. You ever seen uh, seen them take some dynamite and blow up a side of a mountain? I live in, I live in Vancouver, but uh, the mountains here are beautiful. And they take... Um, to, to plow a road through to get from one place to another. They had to dynamite the mountains. They tunneled through some and they blasted out others. And well, that's a big hammer to do that. Dynamite's type of hammer. Time to blast, guys. Get a, Time to get your blasting out there with the Word of God. I mean, we have to come against this COVID stuff. Amen. I know it's real. I understand it, it's, uh, uh, it's damage that it's caused in the lives of people. But we have something greater. We have the Word of God. Jesus has given us His Word. His ultimate Word. That we can use as a hammer to destroy the works of darkness. It's, I haven't even got onto fire yet. It's a fire. I look at the fire and fire is amazing. It's... It's, it's probably a subject for another day. I think I'll leave it for a subject for another day because I want to give you specific details. Because I've heard, you know, I understand that there are different properties to fire. It's light. It's um, purifying. 
and it destroys the works of darkness. There's three points that, you know, you need to to see that it will, you know, when we see a natural forest fire, it cleans out an area, it cleans it out, and it just, just destroys um, everything in its sight. It lays the, the way clear and actually rejuvenates the, the ground. The ash from a fire actually will replenish the soil. So there's lots there too. God's word is amazing. Praise God. And it's there for you. It's there for you. Amen. It is there for you. So I, I would encourage you, if you're facing a challenge today, if something's stopping you from being everything you're called to be in Christ, or uh, limiting your the moving of the Holy Spirit in your life, or you know you feel stuck and you can't get out of it, find out what's what's sticking to you. Find out what's stopping you. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Another Canadian. Yay. Amen. So what you got to do is you got to find out where you need to go with the Word of God in the situation, circumstance. I believe that there's going to be a move of the Spirit here in Canada that we have never seen before. But it takes you to have the Word of God in your mouth, the hammer of the Spirit. Amen. We need to use it to bring change here in the earth. God is working with us. Some people are waiting for a sovereign move of God, and he's working with us. He says, I'm going to work with you. I'm going to work with you. Look at Matthew, the end of Matthew. Look at the end of Mark. This is the Holy Ghost was working with them. Holy Ghost wants to work with you. He's a, he's a boss. <laughs> he's in charge. You just follow his instructions, and you'll do well. You'll do well. But if we want the move of the Spirit, we need to be strong, be courageous, but know how to handle the Word of Life. You have to know how to handle the Word of Life. Thank you. God bless you too. I don't know how to pronounce your name, so sorry. Hey Amen. You have to handle the Word of Life. And you have to know how to handle it. And if you don't know how to handle it, you got to find someone who knows how to handle it, who has proven results. Amen? Hallelujah. So we're fighting the good fight of faith, but you have to know the tools you're working with. Because if you think you're and dealing uh, with um, a hammer that is like a finishing jewelry hammer, a little teeny tiny hammer um, that's for fine things. No, you're dealing with a hammer that will blast out a mountain power that's strong enough to blast out a mountain. Power of God in your mouth will destroy the works of darkness. I've said it a number of times, but you know, it's important to hear it again and again. We need to hear the Word of God afresh. I've known this Word for 20 years. It came to me fresh this week, and it's just Ill, alive in my mouth. It's powerful, and when you use it with revelation knowledge, what happens you become more effective. Amen. It's like sharpening the blade of a knife. If you have a butter knife, it's really hard to cut a steak. Right? But you sharpen a knife up and give it a good edge. It becomes very, very effective and powerful. And that's the same thing with what we're talking about today. So we, by revelation knowledge, you sharpen your sword. You sharpen the word of God in your mouth. God says it's a two-edged sword in your mouth. Amen. It's a factual. That's good. It's good. Listen, I'm going to head off now, but thank you for joining me today for this quick pop-up video. I was just uh, thinking about the hammer and thinking about how God has given us this amazing hammer to destroy the works of darkness. And it's up to us to put his word in our mouth and speak life and light and let the hammer of God's word change things. Amen. Speak what you want. Speak where you're going. Yes, we have to bind the enemy in certain areas, absolutely, but many people are around bopping demons all day long and they're all worn out and tired. 
No, no, no. Speak life. Life commands darkness to flee. By speaking God's word of life, it is a hammer that goes in the spirit and clears a path for you. Just understanding how it works. If you're in a room and it's totally dark in that room, when you flip on the light, it's easy. Darkness flees. When we release God's word out of our mouth, darkness flees. It's a hammer. There's an explosion of light in a room when you flip the light switch, right? It just goes boom, light. So that's who we are and that's what we get to do. So go get them, guys. Have a great weekend. And if you're going to church on Sunday, whether it's in person or online, grab a hold of the grace out of that word for you that day. There's fresh grace every day and there's revelation. Ask the Lord for revelation. He'll give it to you. Amen. And bless your pastors. They're working hard. It's a challenging sign. They have never worked through something like this ever in their life. And they need, they need your encouragement and help. Love you dearly. God bless. We will talk soon.